Hey, what's going on everyone? Andrew here back with Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 in the uh, Road to Million Dollar series. This will be episode number seven. Lucky number seven. All right, well, first things first, this is the uh, main customer's car that we're doing today. It is the Panther FMW 1990, FMW Panther MK1. It's the first generation. It is a performance edition, which means it's only got the V8 dual overhead cam, AXK motor. Now, the Panther MK2 Performance Edition has the supercharged V8 dual overhead cam. But this one, unfortunately, only has the just more or less basic stock motor uh, for that Panther MK2. Uh, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to wash the interior up. Now we've got to do some body work on it or change some body panels. And then we also got to uh, um, give it a paint job, which means we've got to buy the paint booth today. Uh-huh, that's what we're going to be buying. So, let's bring this over, whenever I'm able to, over to car lift A. Alright, here we are. Here we are. Alright, what do we need for body parts? Let's get that out of the way first. Uh, front bumper, rear bumper, headlight P, and both front fenders. <coughs> Alright. So let's go over here to body tuning. That's where the B stuff is. We need... Was it rear or the front bumper? Front bumper and rear bumper. So we need both of them. Plus we need the right headlight B, I believe it said. We'll grab this. We'll grab this. And I believe it was this one. That's just... Yes, it was. Okay. Now we also need both front fenders. We come in here, da 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 da, da front left fender, right front fender. Awesome. Now let's get these changed up out of the way. And we also need the right front headlight, which we already bought. Toy fixed. And we also need the rear bumper. Hey, looks like it's definitely seen better days, that's for Slayton. So Let's put the bumper on. So we come up here, we're going to put the fender on. We're going to put the headlight in. Headlight B. Right side. And now we're going to put the front bumper on. And now we're going to put the fender on. Come on now. There we go. Put the California plate. It says on the road. Perfect. I believe that's it for that one. Yes, it is. Now we've got to do all the suspension stuff in the rear of this car. Starting by putting a new wheel on it. Now, if I had to guess, I believe this is a race tire. I think. Yes, it is. Okay. I believe it's 235, 3518. Dang, I'm getting good at this. Alright, so let's go over here. Tires. Race tire. One. 18, 235, 35. I'm going to go back to wheel rims, 18A. That's the one that's on the car. I'm going to put an 18 inch on it. What we're going to do now is we're going to come over here and we're going to put this together, get it up out of the way, set it and forget it, so to speak. Dang, we got a lot of money left, huh? Alright, here, and now here, perfecto, and come over here, paint booth, 15,000, holy smokes, hopefully we got the money to get it, hey, I may have to sell that car outside, alright, now we're going to need all these parts to be replaced, I think there's one thing in here that's not going to have to be replaced, and that's the, this arm right here. You see my little pointer there? Everything else, I believe, is going to have to be replaced. Very curious to know what the kid hit. Took his dad's car out one night without, him, uh, without his dad's permission, and well, 
Next thing he knows, it's coming in here for work. It needs to be repaired before his dad finds out. Ironic, isn't it? I mean, personally, I don't understand why I gotta put the car all the way up in the air to take off these, the rear, front and rear arms, because, well, shouldn't have to. I understand, you know, but, see, I can't take that one off. All right, now it's gotta go in the air. Up and away. Hey, what are we doing? This is what we're doing right here. Three parts still left remaining. I wonder what they could be. Actually, here's one. Plus bushings. Here's two. Well, no, this one right here is still in good shape. What's that bushing look like? Yeah, it's decent. All right, let's take a look. At, let's take a look at the inventory. One part not discovered. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, if I had to guess, I have a feeling I know what it is. Oil filter. There it says change the oil and drain it with new. Or drain it with new. Drain the old oil. Fill it with new. I mean, the oil is fairly decently clean considering some of the vehicles we get in here. Whoo! Some of them are pretty nasty. And that would be it. We have all the parts now. Let's go to make sure we don't have nothing in here, which we do. Let's back up out of there. Let's go over here to car parts. Perfection. Let's go to our inventory. And let's just start making a list of everything it needs. All right. Now let's start buying some pots. This is going to be expensive. Hopefully I only bought one. Hopefully anyway. Just one? Crap. That's not going to be, that's no bueno. One, two. Since I don't know which ones they were, we're going to replace them all. Leave the small rubber bush, leave the small bushings because, well, we don't need to replace the small ones, just the larger ones. Some days I forget my head if it wasn't attached. As long as we've got a thousand dollars left, we should be good. Ah, crap. Alright, back to here we go again. One... Two, three, four, four little bushings. See, I already had one marked in there and a double marked one, so that's why it's five. All right. First things first, let's put the oil filter on since we're right here. Perfection. Let's work our way to the back. And let's start putting this entire assembly together. Starting with this. Then we go to this. Now here's where we got a lot of paint jobs. Yippers. Alright. Spring cap. Spring. 
the rear shock absorber cap. Perfect. Work our way around to the front. We're going to put the rear suspension on B in play. Now we're going to put this arm in. Just the rear suspension arm, that's all it is. Surprise, we don't need to send this car for an alignment. Poi effect. We're going to put the rear shock on. Backing plate. Wheel hub. And we also have a customer's Mercedes SLS that we're going to do a little bit of work on too. Hey, wait a minute here. You say I need a wheel bearing too? No. Okay. I'm going to put the rotor, the pad, the caliper. Perfect. Now the wheel. Awesome. That should be it for the list. I'm going to change the coolant fluid and refill the windshield washer jug. All right, so we'll do that right now. Perfection. Click on the motor over here. Let's go to the drain tube. Drain this coolant out. Not a whole heck of a lot by the looks of it. All right, now we've got to put oil, coolant, and windshield washer blue goo in. All right, wipe off the mess and check the fluid bubble, make sure we're up. Perfect. Come over here. Put some coolant in it. Put the green goo in instead of blue. You put the blue goo in this one, you're gonna have a bunch of problems on your hands. You're gonna be bringing the, you're gonna be uh, replacing the motor. There we go. Up to the sightseeing window. Now put some windshield washer goop in. Perfect. Now I believe everything that's left is just spray the factory color. Cool. So, let's move this over to the paint shop. And I believe it's a silver, or, or like a pearl white, I mean. Yep, factory color, just like that, see? Kind of almost feel bad for the dude. Alright, back here, we got something else we got to do now. Got to hit it with the welder. I'm sorry, but it... It just doesn't look right. It's only 500 bucks. We can afford that. Cleaned up quite a bit. There we go. Good to go. Right. Oh, wrong one. This one. There we go. All right. Send it back to the customer. Make some cash. Let's see. We're at $1,151. Let's see how much we get off of it. 9,500 bucks. I mean, it's not, their, it's not their fault that I had to buy a paint shop for $15,000, which basically took all my cash, but... Although, if I wouldn't have bought that over there, we'd be sitting at about $14,000 right now. Alright, what's the deal with this one? Engine is working, but it's choppy. What else was there? Brake problems. Huh. All right, well, let's uh, give it a compression test and make sure we ain't got to get into the motor. Turning about 140 PSI-ish, 130, 140, somewhere around there. Aye. That's not the right one. Let's do that test again, shall we? Huh. Not understanding what car I was working on, I had that problem, but... Okay. 
I already spotted a brake issue. The caliper on that side. All right, no internals. Nice. Now let's go to OBD2 scanner. See if this tells us anything. I can see right now we're going to have a throttle body that's going to have to be changed. You know, run all of our diagnostic tools before we start digging into it and just start replacing parts for money that we ain't got. All right, two coils. Two coil, two coil. All right. That's two out of the six. Plus, like I said, the throttle body is going to be another. Uh, just giving it a quick little glance around. Fuel filter, probably another. Uh, what about the fuel filter or fuel pump? That looks okay. Hmm. All right, well, let's uh, go to this test now. Check the air boxes. ECU looks good. Dang, there's a lot of parts on this motor. Wow, that's it. All right. Let's see if we accumulated anything. All right, intake front cover, air filter, one of them, ignition coil, plus the throttle body there, which should. up if we do this and go down here to electrical multimeter this is where it should show I believe there are all electric throttle bodies on this car say 22 percent is probably the throttle body a lot of electrical components all right we got one left. What do you think it could be? I'm very curious myself. I'm just gonna take this off just to see. And we found the issue. All right, so. Uh, we're gonna go into here, we're gonna clear this out. And then that way then we can go back to our inventory, click on this, and then we can go oh, then we can go back to our inventory since we already clicked on it. I don't want to do that, I want to do this. We can get rid of all the parts for a whole hundred and sixteen dollars. No, I want to keep that. It's good for a spare. Alright. Now we're gonna bring this into the shop. I don't know why I did that, but we're going to bring this into the shop and work on it in there. Feel the sun baking down on my back, you know what I mean? Alright, back where we were. So we need, we need to change an air filter. And if I had to guess, I'm going to say it's this one, which is probably the other one, you know, just my luck. Let's take off both boxes, that way then we can see. Pop off this clip A. I think that's what they are. Maybe they might even be clip B's. I'm not sweating. Oh no, see I was wrong. It's, it's this one. But since we got that off, we'll take this off too. So we take off the throttle body. With our step bolt. And uh, got an ignition coil issue, which is probably going to be this one. Let's check our inventory just to see. Yep. There's one on this side too. Yep, it's going to be this one right there. Perfect. We've got both of them. Uh, what else do we have? 
intake cover, throttle, ignition coil, ignition coil, fill filter, air filter. Cool, we got everything. So, let's go to our inventory. Market, 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 market. And yeah. Go back over here. Come to the main shop, fuel filter. Throttle. Intake cover. And air filter. And we come over here to electronics. And I think this has got a specialized coil for it. Maybe not. I think they're just, oh no, just regular. Two of them. Alright, it's time to start putting this thing back together. All brand new coil. Put the front cover on. Which I'm not sure what it's doing there. It ain't really doing anything. Put the throttle body on now. Put the air filter in. Air box. I'm very curious to know why this air box cover looks pretty decent, but yet the filter's all crappy and crummy. But then you look at this one, you know, it's definitely original to the car, but the air filter's good. I wonder why they changed the lid, the lid for it, but not the air, air blah, 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 but not the air filter. Makes me wonder. Hmm. Strange. Strange, I tell you. Alright, fuel filter. Which is right there. Alright, now we're going to put it up in the air. After we put the hood down. So yeah, this is the Mercedes SLS AMG 6.3 liter. She's a monster. Up, up, and away she goes. I don't know understand what the deal was with that. So let's start right here on this corner. Alright, what have we got? Just a caliper? Yep. It's very disturbing to see these factory, like, Honda Civic brakes on an expensive exotic car like this. Boggles my mind, man. Boggles me mind. Check your inventory list. Oh, wrong one. Right here. Brake caliper. Perfecto. Put the caliper on. With a new cylinder. May as well. For all the time it takes. Put the wheel back on. Just jaunder over to this one right here. And I have a feeling this one right here is going to need a new rotor. So that's what we go and check and see, right? That's what our job is to find the problem and fix it. Yeah, I'm definitely seeing that uh, the rotor on this one's new good. Brake disc ventilated. Right there. Alright. Put that new one on. Put the pad on. Put the caliper on. Let's put the better wheel cylinder on. Or caliper cylinder, I mean. Perfect. Jump our way to the back here. Uh, looks good on this side. So well, it's probably this side now. Yeah. How many more pieces do we need? Two more. Probably the caliper and pads are bad on this one. I should have been a fortune teller. Check your inventory list. Pads, caliper. Just as I suspected there. Pads and brand new caliper. Now put the wheel on. Perfect. A little close there. And the customer can now come and grab this. It's all done. Alright, made 1600 off of that one. 
Now, I think it's time we strip this one down. That's what I'd be thinking. I mean, it's got all the wheels. However, what we can do... Got anything in here? Nope. However, what we can do also is... Well, we're going to sell these parts. Is we can also sell these parts that I take off of that car. And, um, yeah, a little extra cash. Then we can slowly start building it up. You know what I mean? Get her all done, taken care of. Send her out the door, make some profit. Let's, let's start working, shall we? Dang, rusty bolt. Now we're going to take off the caliper. Then the pads. The dust cap. Wheel bearing. Take out the bushing. Take out the rear suspension arm. The other arm. Has to be sprayed, of course. Take out the rotor. The wheel hub. This hub, right, oh wait, we gotta take all the rest of this stuff, huh? That's what I was thinking. Now we're gonna take off the upper suspension arm. And we're gonna take off uh, the little bushing. Perfecto. I'll take off the steering nut or the rear knuckle. Right there. Right there, man. Right there. Now, I'd really like to be able to paint everything on this, but due to not having the funds to fully open up our paint shop yet, I'm not going to do it just yet. This car is not going to be painted, it's going to be au naturel. But it's still going to look good regardless. You know what I mean? Now hopefully we make close to 100000 off of this. When it goes up for sale. Wish I could send this car to auction. I think that would be awesome. Let people bid over it. Rhoda, this cap, wheel burn, wheel hub, rear. Aww, I thought we were going to get away with not having to spray it. Aww. Backing plate, upper arm. Perfection. The shook, the lower arm B. Now we're also going to take off the rear sway bar end link. Then we take off the rear sway bar A. At least I think that's what that one was. Hey, look at that. I was right. A lot of junk parts on this car. Wow. I wonder why it was so cheap. Spring cap. I'll spray it where the little bushing is. Let's get rid of this rear cross member. Let's take out the little bushing. There we go. Work our way to the front. Pull out the front wheel. Perfecto. The caliper, the pads, rotor, and drive axle. 
I believe if I had to guess, it's probably going to be Drive Axle H or C. 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 Rota. Wheel Hub. Backing plate. Let's take off the catalytic converter. Um, I guess there wouldn't be a exhaust pipe for the turbo because, well, there's no turbo. This is an I4 BFM. Well, I guess we take off the front sway bar A, right? Or M link A. Kind of makes a little sense. That's what I'd be thinking. Now take up steering knuckle A. Go back over yonder. Get the bushing out. Get the other bushing. Work our way over now to the passenger side. Get the rear big bushing. Take up the lower control arm. Pop the ball joint free. Good to go. Take off the tire and wheel combination. Have to get all the rusty bolts out. There we go. Take off the front drive axle C. I'm going to pull out the front drive shaft. Transmission. Yeah, that. Panther MK1, that's unreal for a car only having like 38,000 miles on it. And it looked like that. Like, man, Junior must have been driving that car hard. I can't get over it. Pick up the front bigger bushing. I'm going to get the cross member out of the way. Pick up the strut or front shock A and I gotta take the bearings in nope so now it's out we got the caliper the pad the rotor the wheel hub the backing plate steering knuckle A and now we're gonna drop it down Now's the fun part. I don't have a cherry picker. Which means everything has to be assembled and disassembled right here in the engine bay. Alright, so let's start with taking off the cam caps. Got a couple of them, not many. I think we're missing what, two? No spark plugs, so that's good. And it should be the last cap right here. Now there was no timing gears or nothing. So we gotta worry about that. Take the belt off. Take off the Come on, get out of there. The cam gear, I4 SOHC. Take out the camshaft. The other camshaft. Take out the idler A. The other idler A. Take out the water pump. Now we take off the cylinder head. And let's take out the pistons. See what kind of damage we got. The only advantage to having something from a junkyard is normally nothing's ever... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I think I spoke too soon. Hmm, I wonder if I can get in there. Aww. That sucks. Of course, it'd be the back one, right? Hmm. 
Wait, maybe I can reach through here? Yeah, no. All right, up in here, it's got to go again. We got to take off the clutch plate and stuff anyway, so. Now, why they would send me back there is beyond me, but it is what it is, man. And we got the pressure plate. The plate. The flywheel. And we're going to take off this rod, rod cap right there. Wish I could take the piston out from up there, but I can't. So we've got to... This is the reason why I do not like building motors in the car. Now I've got to take this back out. Hop back out, put the car back up in here just to get the crankshaft out. In theory, it should be falling on the ground right now. Alright. Now we're gonna now we're gonna drop this back down, pull the motor. That's how strong we are, we pull it with our bare hands. And it gone. Alright. Now what we need is let's see what cross member is well the crank at least is decent if i had some way to fix it now let's see we need the front cross member and the rear cross member that's what we're going to put in there right off the hop just to hold it in play kind of keep tension on it you know what i mean all right now we need the rear cross member which is down over up here and then we need eight bushings Actually, I could probably almost build this entire car on the budget that I have right now. Just saying. Well, maybe. You know, Got to sell the junk parts first, see how much money we actually got. Because I don't think the parts for this, for the motor, are that expensive. Let's see, what's the block cost? Uh, we need a crank too, that's 275. The crankshaft pulley is 120. The block is 1850. Ouch. Uh, cylinder head is 1400, so that's like three grand right there. Not to mention the wheels and tires and all that other fun stuff. Yeah, we ain't building that yet. Not yet. There will come a time, just not yet. Not unless I miraculously get like four grand for all the parts I just took off this thing. Which I can't see it happening. I just can't see it. Where's the bushing go? Right there. There we go. Got all the bushings. Got the front and rear cross members in. Can't see them anyway. The front one you can. But the rear one. I'm not even understanding what that's connected to. Alright. I'm going to put this down. We're going to move this back outside. Car to garage entrance C. car sitting low ain't it all right let's sell all of our parts here see what we got made 1300 bucks off of that not a whole heck of a lot what are we gonna get for the wheels 137 103 96 119 54 hmm huh. Interesting. What are we going to get for these? 39? Right, let's sell everything. Alright. I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. And gals. Um, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And make sure you click that all button. That would then get all the latest up-to-date videos that I'm doing. And, um, yeah. So, without further ado... 
that's the end of this one bye y'all